Morning everybody. Morning. <laughs> We're back at the boat. We're actually back from Guernsey. Um, hopefully you saw the Guernsey episode last week, which was amazing and gave us a fantastic opportunity to relax. But now that we're back... We've got some work to do. <laughs> we've got a lot of work to do to get Melody ready to move. While we've been away, and this was kind of the arc of last week's episode, was while we were away, Danny and uh, Spud were working on the welding, giving us a fantastic and much needed break. So let's have a look at the welding that they did while we were away last week. Yep. Right. And this is our new keel base. And I'll go all the way round, which I wouldn't normally do, but it's just incredible. Yeah. So it's eight mil, eight mil. Yeah, so the, the, the new keel base itself, that's eight mil thick the whole way across. And then this is 100 mil up and six mil thick uh, steel all the way around. So I'll go under here, all the way around here, all the way around here, all the way to the end. Hang on, shadow. In. Oh, Ooh, I was going to say, and look, yeah. look what we've found. There is a bag <laughs> from some people that have left it on the boat. Wow, what's in there? We've got... 50 knots you need to know. With, with some cord. Look at this, Jack. Wow. Oh, look at that. 50 knots you need to know. This is not for you. It's a bottle this of wine. This is for Mum and Dad. And who's it from? Peter. Thank you, Peter. Thank you very much, Peter. That's really kind of you. I, I really like the bag too. I'll drop them a message to say yeah. thank you. Like that. That's amazing. <laughs> right, go and learn some knots, Jack. <laughs> go and learn some knots, Jack. So there's the, the back, back end of the keel. Um, I've got my new learned. gudgeon bolts in. Okay. Let's go all the rest of the way around. I'll get through here. All the way down. And all the way up. There's a pinhole there that we've got to sort out, but that's an easy fix. And that's it. Oh, and the other thing that we need to do is replace the, the through hole for the depth and the paddle wheel. And then the next massive job that he's done is this beautiful welding along here. This whole patch, basically, from there to there, from there to here, so it's yeah. about seven foot patch all the way across to the centre line and a piece of that side as well. We'll have a look at that in a minute. Yeah. So we've still, we've still got a few places to tackle, but this is the majority. The rest of the patches are like this big. Yeah, <laughs> this tiny. is the majority of the major, major welding. Yeah. And then this beautiful piece around here, and this was the difficult the difficulty was going round the um, rudder. R round the rudder. Can I just say as well, um, right, the welding has been done by the local uh, welder here that works on the fishing fleet. While I'm talking now, I'm going to put up a load of pictures of his work. He's an absolutely incredible welder that specialises in marine work and boat work and what have you. However, he has asked me to say that he travels across the whole of the UK, so whether you're in Inverness or Falmouth or somewhere down on the west coast or in, in London, he will come to you. He's completely self-contained. He brings a generator so he doesn't use any of the yard's electricity. Uh, they work together as a team and the work is absolutely incredible. So I can't recommend him enough and I will be putting his contact details up on the screen uh, just purely to help him out. He's a, he's a local business and I want to help him and he's done a fantastic, fantastic job for us. Can't thank him enough. Right, so what we've now got to do in this episode is um, get all the mill scale off the new steel and um, paint this um, bare metal and the underside of the keel to get some epoxy on here um, and the same just um, prep round here where obviously the paint has burnt off and get some white on there. Also, we need to, before we can move, I've got to sort out the final bits of feet and what have you on the bowsprit because otherwise when we move that will all uh, fall apart. It's pretty strong as it is but I want to make that sorted and there's one last bit while Danny was welding the inside of the transom he cut out another area that um, he found 
needed cutting out, but he had to remove some of our bathing platform to do it. And uh, what I will say, obviously Danny could have welded it back in, but he was saving us money because we, we paid yeah. for this welding. Um, and he said, You're, you know, you guys can do this. And obviously he can weld it back in, but it will just add time and it's a job that we can do. So um, we've just got to weld this piece back in. So, I mean, that's another reason why I would recommend him is because he rang me up and said, listen, I've had to cut out a piece of your bathing platform to facilitate this job. Um, do you want me to weld it back in or do you want to save yourself some pennies and weld that back in yourself? Well, I'm perfectly capable of welding this in and that, that's easy. Um, but he needed to remove that to get to the bottom of the transom there. So I can, I can weld that back in. I'm just interrupting proceedings to proudly announce that Nigel's channel is now live. Head down to the link in the description or search for the YouTube channel Bleeding Rust to follow Nigel as he works in his shipping container workshop, tackling a host of fascinating projects, many of which are specifically for us on Melody, but also tons of other amazing stuff. His first episode is live now, and I would love for all 60,000 of you, our subscribers, to go and subscribe to him as well to see just how fast we can grow his channel from nothing to a huge YouTube platform. He's going to be releasing a new video every Wednesday to tie in specifically with our channel to show in detail the work that he's doing for Melody as well as his other projects. So as soon as you've finished our episode, please head over, watch his first two videos, and subscribe to Nigel's channel, Bleeding Rust. And then the other thing that we want to try and do um, is get the cockpit prepped and painted. Um, so the idea is once we've moved to the new place is that everywhere has a coat of paint. So there's not... Well, so that we look a bit more presentable. Well, so we look more presentable and there's less sort of grinding and sanding going on because obviously every time we grind and stuff, then... Um, we have to protect the other boats. We have to protect and... the other boats and protect the paint on our boat. Um, so it'll be nice once everything has a coat of epoxy. There is a life I lead in this city Hurry in to cup my tea I can take what I need to get by It doesn't make it easy the peace of my heart moves slow Somewhere in the great unknown When I return from the afterglow Will you carry me like I am whole again? Wait, hold on Put me together Take me back where I belong I want it all I had a feeling but the feeling is all Back where I belong, I want it all. I had a feeling, but the feeling is all gone. Paul has popped back to the boat because there's a lot of stuff on the board of doom that we haven't removed. Uh, a lot of it is Paul related. He was so, upset. Yes, I was upset. He had to he drive so all the way from Aberystwyth. Driven 120 miles from Aberystwyth because I was watching an episode and I noticed that the board hasn't shifted much lately. I'm having a load on the board. <laughs> so, uh, exhaust manifold, that still needs doing. We'll shift that to one side. Pulleys and belts. Done. Done. Stick that over in. Done. That's doing, Paul. Yeah, just stick it stick on it the red. There, there you go. go. <laughs> oil in the injector pump. We can do that in a bit. Top up the oil. Yeah, call that done. Yeah. Uh, rebuild the heat exchanger. Done. Fit the new water pump. Done. Fit the alter new, new alternator. Done. Fill it with coolant. Done. Um, and so the only two bits left to do on the engine are serve, uh, have a look at the exhaust manifold and sort out the oil in the injector pump. Oh, oh, meanwhile. Meanwhile, while we're waiting for Paul. Clean and paint the engine bay. Done. Uh, uh, well, we've cleaned the engine bay. Put that in doing. Doing, because we haven't, we've painted we've cleaned it, but the not engine, paint. but not the, painted yeah. the engine. Huh? Clean and prep the heat exchanger yeah. surface. Done. Done. Clean and prep the water pump surface. Clean and prep the water pump surface, surface which I'm going to do again. We didn't, do it. we didn't do it. We didn't do it. Debrief and clean the engine. Yeah. Done. Paint the engine. 
Yep, done. You're putting those in doing, Paul. Oh, my. <laughs> Remove. See, this is why oh, yeah. it's falling off the board as well. <laughs> well they're not very sticky they're anymore. Not can't get the stuff. Have to get some brick stick. You can't get the <laughs> stick these days. What else have we got? Oh, rudder. Rudder. Rudder post glam packing. I haven't done that. Refit but, rudder assembly you've done. Yeah, so, hang on. Fabricate the cutlass bearing housing. Not done. Oh, it well, is actually, it but is Nigel done. needs to just weld it on. Refit the rudder assembly. Done. So fabricate can go into doing. Fabricate the cutlass bearing housing is in doing. Refit the propeller, not done. Replace the rudder gudgeon bolts. I do love the word gudgeon. Gudgeon? Gudgeon. Replace the cutlass bearing bolts, no, because that's going next time Nigel is here. Repair remaining holes along keel base. Repair the remaining holes along the keel base, done. Weld inside the keel box. Doing, Nigel's doing. Is in doing, yeah. <laughs> well, the belly patch is in. Danny's done that for us. Weld in the stringers. Uh, do yeah, it. yeah. No, oh, that's done. done. The stringers yeah. are done. Uh, we still need to redo the angle irons for the bunks in there. She's looking great. It is, isn't it? Shot blast under the keel. Done. done. Epoxy the lifting keel. Doing. It needs more coats. We've, we've done it, but we need another coat. Reinstall the lifting keel. No. Weld on the new base plate. Done. Done. Yeah, access the lifting keel tube. Done. Mast. Rebuild the in-mast unit. Done. Nigel's coming back with the bits for that later. Run the mast wiring. Done. Done. Flat back and primer above the waterline. Done. Fill and fair above the waterline. Done. Paint on the boost stripe. Not done. <laughs> what? Paint on the boob stripe. The boob boot strap. The boob strap. <laughs> Hate the boob stripe. The boob stripe. That's called it's a boob stripe. It's called a boob stripe. <laughs> Make bigger done board. Make a bigger done board. <laughs> yeah. Yes. So just have a look at that now. That's our done board. And all the ones that dropped. And all the ones that we've dropped. That's ah, ah, it's falling on my head. That's very exciting. So red jobs now are down to. Next to nothing. Yeah. And we'll get some more of those ticked up over the next couple of days. Wow. Nice. So thanks very much to Paul again. For coming to coming. make us update our board. Yeah. It was depressing me. <laughs> <laughs> and not only that, but he's brought us some more stainless steel to do some bits and pieces with. And he's taking the engine from my daughter's boat away because he's going to work on my daughter's boat engine. I've yeah. got a feeling she might be starting a YouTube channel with her boat. So yeah. uh, earmark that. <laughs> So we've um, just very quickly, well not very quickly, but we've re loaded up the trailer with all the metal that's ever been cut off Melody. And we're gonna take it to the scrap yard um, and find out how much, we're gonna weigh it in and find out how much we've actually cut off the boat, which would be quite interesting. We'll take the other wheel with us. Yeah. Oh, you filming? Yeah, I just said in the boat that we're um, going to the scrap yard to find out how much we've actually cut off Melody. So we weighed in the steel and it was almost half a ton of steel that's been cut off the boat. And then we've come back and we've had a tidy up, all in preparation for something. Paul's gone, Nigel's here. Um, so he's just come to weld up the inside of the keel box. So um, that's what you're gonna see next. So while Nigel is um, welding the inside of the keel box, Melissa and I are prepping the steel on the underneath of the keel for uh, for painting because we want to try and get the paint on the underneath of the keel as quickly and as soon as we possibly can. we're doing is getting the mill scale off this steel uh, base plate on the keel. Um, so I'm using the 
good old Turku rotary blaster uh, and look at the difference. This is where I've been using the rotary blaster and that's the old, that's the mill scale. So that's what I'm doing. What I'm doing is making some feet for the bowsprit assembly. Let me show you. I want this bowsprit assembly to be completely removable. This is where the current um, tubes meet up with the top sides. And what I'm going to do is make some feet that are welded on here with some slightly larger ball tube, this, so that these can be welded onto the top sides. And then if I ever have a bump with another boat, God forbid, or if another boat bumps into me, uh, or us rather, I can remove the whole uh, bowsprit by just sliding it out of these pins. Ah, wind, and I haven't got my radio mic on, sorry. Um, so I'm gonna make two feet for there and two feet for the pulpit um, that go there like that. So that's what I'm doing now. bought some tube to do this job as you've seen uh, but I wasn't happy with the tolerance I had measured it and it's it's a little bit too much play in the inside diameter of that as opposed to the outside diameter of the other so I've cannibalized some old tube from some of the stuff that we removed from the boat before um, which fits perfectly and I'm um, in my favorite pastime which is mixing epoxy ready to paint the underside of the keel So that's me done painting for now. Um, so we've got fresh paint on the new keel base and 
all under here too. Looks great. And very white in comparison to the other stuff. And then paint over all the newly welded stuff. And then all along the keel under here. So really pleased with that. Didn't manage to get the cockpit done, but I think that was a bit ambitious. So next time. <laughs> and then what has Andy been up to? Andy has welded on the bow structure, bow sprit platform and the pulpit he's made some removable feet on the platform so you can remove it so um, there's a bit more work to do on it yet and we know that we know that Nigel is keen to make us a new one because this one's a bit wonky um, but it'll be absolutely fine uh, for now and then also which I think he's already showed you but he has welded in the piece in the bathing platform that needed to be cut out for Danny to do some welding. So that bit is welded in and that just needs uh, grinding back and sanding and painting some more. <laughs> okay so that's it that's the end of the episode down tools it's the end of the day we're presentable and uh, some very exciting stuff is happening next week. Yeah. Yeah, we are moving. We're moving. Melody! <laughs> We're moving Melody to her new home in next week's episode. And in actual fact, it's happening tomorrow, but you don't get to see it until next week. But you are the privileged few who know that it's going to happen the ones next that week. Stayed to the end. <laughs> yeah, if you stayed to the end of the episode, you get the spoiler. You get to know it's all happening. Uh, and by the time you see this, it will have already happened. Um, so there you go. Thanks very much for watching. Thanks for watching. And uh, remember to like and comment and subscribe and all of that stuff. And see you next week. Yeah, see you next week. Bye-bye. Bye. Bye. Bye.